Hi, this is Elena from Murex Looms. Today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between a Murex loom and a basic frame loom. So let's get started. Uh, this is a basic frame loom that I actually made myself out of a stretcher board um, and wrapped my warp threads around. There are a lot of different kinds of basic frame looms available. Some have notches where you can put your warp threads, uh, some have pegs or nails. There are a bunch of different options, but very basically what a basic frame loom is, is a frame that you wrap your warp threads around. Um, and this is what a lot of beginners use to get a taste uh, for tapestry, but there are a lot of disadvantages um, of using a loom like this. And this here is a Murex loom. For more information on Murex looms, you can visit our website, murexlooms.com, and there are videos there, um, as well as tutorials and free projects and just lots of information about our looms. Now, the first difference um, that I noticed when I was warping up these looms was that it's much harder to get good tension on the frame loom than it is on the Merix loom. Good tension is really, really important for your weaving, and we will talk about this later. Uh, but that is one thing I want to note from the very beginning. With a frame loom, to warp it, you tie, or however your frame loom works, uh, around a bar, um, and you have to wrap your warp threads around the loom, which is similar to how you warp a Murex loom. The difference is that you need to keep both even tension and good tension um, when you're warping with the frame loom, and that's really hard to do. You can see I tried really hard to get good tension, and it's a little bit uneven here, and it's just not very tight. With a Murex, when you're wrapping around, all you need to do is get even tension. You don't need to worry about getting tight tension because you can use your wing nuts later on to tighten your tension as much as you want it. So you can see how much tighter the tension of the Murex loom is, and I could tighten it up even more. Now, the second difference uh, between a Murex and a frame loom uh, is the shutting device. Uh, this is available on all of our looms, 8 inches and larger, uh, and we really recommend it for tapestry. Basically what the shedding device does is it attaches on the top of the shedding device to half of your warp threads and on the bottom to the other half of your warp threads. And so when you move the shedding device in one direction, you get one shed. So you've lifted up half of your warp threads. And when you move your shedding device in the other direction, you lift up the other half of your warp threads. And what this does is it allows you to pass your weft right through instead of having to go over and under. With a loom without the shedding device, you have to pick and move your thread over and under your warp threads. So that takes a lot more time, it's more difficult to do, um, and once you've woven with a shedding device, it's really hard to weave without the shedding device, in my opinion. Uh, so those are two of the big differences. Um, another one is the fold-out legs that the Murex has. You can see here. Um, so these fold in or out. So you could use, this is a 12-inch Murex loom, you could use this um, just on your lap, like you might use a loom like this, but you can also hold it up on a table, and you can weave with it on the table, which is really convenient. Um, one more difference. So to space my warp threads on this loom, uh, I made little dots um, right actually on the loom, and it's kind of coming away. It's hard to keep, be, especially because there are no notches or anything in this loom, it's hard to keep the warp threads exactly um, where they're supposed to be on those dots. Uh, with a Murex, to space your warp threads, and warp thread spacing is really important, uh, we have different springs that you can put on the top of your loom depending on what kind of spacing you need. Um, and so that's a really easy way um, to get the right set. Um, okay, so now I'm actually going to try some weaving on each of these looms, and you can follow me along and see, again, what some of the differences are between the two looms. Okay, so I am going to uh, start weaving um, on my little frame loom. So the way that you weave on this loom is by picking up every other warp thread. So, just 
just moving your weft like that. Now I can already feel that the tension's not great on this, but what can you do? So we'll see if that really affects my weaving. I have a feeling it is going to. Okay, so you can see how long this takes. Um, I'm going over and under, and that's basically it. That's the whole concept. Um, so, you know, you can see weaving on this loom is, it's easy. Okay. So, that is how you weave on this loom. So I've been weaving a little bit um, and I have a couple observations. One, um, it takes much longer without the shedding device. We knew, we knew that. Um, the other is the other thing I mentioned that I had a feeling about is that it's very difficult um, to weave with not very good tension and there's a tendency to pull in. If you've seen um, a lot of beginner tapestries, you'll see they'll start off straight and they kind of go in like this. When you don't have really good tension, it's much easier to pull in. And I can even see that I've started to pull in on this side where my tension's not quite as good. Okay, so here we are with our Merrick's loom. We have it in the correct shed. And now instead of going over and under, over and under with the Merrick's, you just go like that. Then we change the shed, and we just bring our thread right through. So right off the bat, you can see that it is much faster um, to weave on the Merrick's. You can also see how tight the tension is um, and how that just makes it easier not to pull in. And it also makes it easier to keep our warp threads um, in the correct line. So there's a tendency sometimes on any tapestry loom, weaving tapestry anytime, um, to pull in, let's say, in the middle, not just on the edges. Um, and sometimes you'll see your tapestry will, you'll start to you'll start to see your warp threads part way up and in one little place. It's because your warp threads are not all the same distance um, apart and having good tension uh, really helps prevent that. So here we are. Just look at how fast and easy that is. And see every time I go through, I change my shed. So it's pretty obvious comparing side by side uh, that Amerix is much easier to weave on. I, I know Amerix can be an investment. It is not the cheapest loom on the market, um, but Amerix is going to last you a lifetime. Um, if you're interested in tapestry, if this is something that you want to spend time doing, if you're going to be spending time on materials, it's a great idea to invest in a good loom because it's going to make weaving faster, it's going to make weaving easier, and ultimately it's going to make your final project a lot nicer. So there you have it. There are some differences between a Merrick's loom and a basic frame loom.